Finally, Joe Biden wants to make this big social security change. And yes, it would affect millions and millions of people. In fact, everyone would be on board with it. All of this updated news just come out today is talking about the big change that Joe Biden wants to make to social security. If you're on a fixed income SSI, SSDI, then you're going to want to stick around all the way to the end for this video to see exactly what changes President Joe Biden is wanting to make. Social Security is in trouble. You know it. I know it. The program's trustees definitely know it. Recently reporting that Social Security will become insolvent one year earlier than previously forecasted if changes are not made. Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. You've been truly amazing while I've been out of town. Thank you so much for bearing with me. But yes, we have a merch link down in the description below that if you would like a t-shirt, coffee mug, or a bumper sticker, face mask, all you got to do is click on that link and go make your purchase to support this channel. If you want a chance to win a $25 gift card, then yes, all you have to do is smash that like button and hit that subscribe button to join the family and we'll put your name into a drawing for a chance to win. So Social Security, yeah, it's in trouble. Many people know it. We know it that the sovereignty is not going to last too much longer if things are not changed. That's why President Joe Biden is aware that something needs to be done in order to preserve Social Security. So this definitely would affect 26 plus million people that are on a fixed income, Social Security disabled VA survivors. While his administration hasn't proposed major reforms to Social Security yet, yes, they've got things under their sleeve that they're wanting to present. Joe Biden wants to make a huge change to Social Security based on his previous statement. And there's reason to believe that most Americans could be on board with it. So, and technically, who does it affect? Well, it affects those that are getting a monthly check from Social Security, those on Medicare, those that are depending on that government check every single month. So, it all goes back to when Biden had campaigned for president, he proposed several benefit increases for Social Security recipients. Now, this is primarily targeting those on SSI, SSDI, survivor disabled, Social Security. Yes, he wants to give you a increase for benefits. For example, he wanted to boost the benefits for older Americans who had been retired for at least 20 years. Well, you think how many millions of Americans have been retired for over 20 years? I guarantee you there's millions and millions. So to boost your benefits would truly be life changing. This is coming directly from President Joe Biden himself. He's also sought to increase the minimum benefit, allowing surviving spouses to receive higher benefits and eliminate penalties for public sector workers. Now, if you look at the ratio between spouses who have someone who is disabled, there's there's a pretty large percentage amount on a Social Security income. So to allow them to receive a higher benefit, as well as for the Americans that's been on Social Security for over 20 years, you would receive a boost to your benefit. Those two big changes would be monumental to those on a fixed income. If you ask anyone who is getting a Social Security check, they would tell you more money is better. More higher benefits, increases to benefits, is better. Making things happen for our senior citizens, those on a fixed income, is way better. But let me ask you this. However, the biggest Social Security change in Biden's plan, but yet he had one more change up his sleeve, and many, many are on board with this one change. He wants Americans with especially high wages to pay the same taxes on those earning than the middle class families play. He proposed increasing the payroll tax cap to 400,000. The cap is currently at 160,000. Thus fair in his presidency, Biden hasn't put forward a plan including this change. He did though include a similar idea for Medicare that he proposed as well. Biden called for a tax increase on all annual earnings above 400,000 to help preserve the federal health care program. So right there, you've got 
three major changes that President Joe Biden is wanting to make to Social Security. Now, tell me, do you agree with all of these changes? Do you agree that they should be done immediately? Well, Biden likes to think so. So let's go over the three changes that he wants to make. He wants to boost the benefits for older Americans who have been retired for at least 20 years. He also sought to increase the minimum benefit, allowing surviving spouses to receive higher benefits and eliminate penalties for public sector workers. I mean, those two right there would be so monumental. I know that many of you would love a increase to your benefit and increase to your benefits. The last one on the list is increasing the payroll tax to 400000 allowing Social Security and Medicare to be around for a lot longer. So I hope that this has been some encouraging news. This is definitely some positive news of what he wants to do for the American people. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget about the merch link down in the description below. Buy a t-shirt, buy a coffee mug. It all supports this channel. If you would like to win a $25 Amazon gift card for free, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to join the family for your chance to win. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you continue to have a great Sunday. And until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace.